Dr. Brooker, do you understand there are $5 million for which we have received over $55 million worth of requests? In all due respect, $5 million doesn't seem quite right for some 2,000 cases. The government spent $20 million investigating seven deaths from Tylenol. We are now in the third year of this epidemic. Unfortunately, we have decided to reject your application for funding, Dr. Bruckner. We felt the direction of your thinking was imprecise and unfocused. You don't know what's going on any more than I do. Why are you blocking my efforts? President Reagan has threatened to veto. As you may know, he has been known to oppose anything that would be an endorsement of homosexuality. Quite frankly, it's no longer just your disease, Dr. Bruckner, though you seem to think it is. My disease? You can have it! I didn't want it in the first place! You think it's my good fortune to watch young men die? I only serve in this panel at the request of Dr. Juice. He's an idiot! And a closeted homosexual! I am treating more patients in this epidemic than anyone else in the world. We have accumulated more data, more research, more experience. How could you not fund my research? Your National Institute of Health received my request for research money more than